Hi Tim. Hello. Where are you right now? I am at the Flatter office in Malmö. Oh, that's cool. First time. Ah, well, welcome to you and welcome to me. Um, I have a few questions for you, if that's okay. That's fine. Go ahead. Um, you're making quite a lot of money, well, quite a lot of success with using Flutter. Uh, what do you think you do differently from other people? I, I don't know, but um, I don't know what I'm doing different right now, but it, this all has its own history, I think. I think it's uh, related that I, I'm not a total newcomer to this. I'm, I have been doing podcasting for a while, and even before I had lots of contact with a certain tech-oriented community so I guess in my case that comes in very handy when you're talking to people uh, and try to make them use a system that you know, is on the internet needs some at least a bit of technical expertise to to use so that's all helpful but I think most of it can be attributed to the fact that it's a community of people who like the content and want me to produce more of it, so that's what they support. Oh, that sounds good. Do you have any simple tips for a new user? You mean a new user, a new creator? Yeah, a new creator that starts using Planner or asking for donations. Well, I think what's most important is that you are that you explain what you're doing and what you want, what you intend to do, what your um, immediate aim is uh, thoroughly. That you really say like, here's what I do, that's how I like to do it, and if you support me, I will just continue to do it. And when people know what a donation is for, then it's much easier for, for them to to decide to, to give. That's, I think, the, the very uh, simple explanation. Uh, when it comes to details, uh, it means you have to take care of a certain you know, uh, presence of the flatter buttons, of course. So it needs to be on every single post when you have a blog or a podcast, of course, so that people can really target one particular thing that they like. But also, you should have a general button that sort of stands for the whole project and if you need to diversify you always uh, yeah, need to come up with yet another button I think that's a good uh, approach in general. What do you think makes the Flutter platform different from other donation systems? I think the most important difference between Flutter and just a simple donation using bank transfer or anything else is it's, it's twofold. First of all, it's you, you are in control of your expenses because first you define how much money you give and then you are deciding who you are giving it to. But on the other hand, you can always include others at any time. So it's more a, a platform that potentially addresses everybody you'd love to support as long as they have joined Flatter, of course. But once they've done so, you can at any point decide to include more people and you still don't have to think about do I have enough money left, how much do I really want to give and so on. If you really feel that you have not given enough to one particular person for whatever reason, you can always add a donation from within Flatter as well, but the, just the normal standard system is um, is working very well just to support as many people as you'd like but you still have just one portal just one point where where your money is going through and and, and you're, you're done thinking about all these uh, things that are usually related to money transfer and so on that's a good thing yeah. thank you very much